Hello everyone and welcome back to the 20 part tutorial of how to model basketball court arena where we will continue with this um, basketball hoop and what I want to do right now is I want to explain something just as quick as I can and then continue with this um, you see me a lot working with um, supporting edge loops what I'm doing is basically I'm uh, relocating edges in order to make sure that uh, I'm just adding edges to make sure that some areas of my model will kept sharp whenever whenever I want to smooth preview the whole object. So <clears throat> there is this tool that named as crease tool. Okay, now if you use the crease tool, what it does, you basically pick some edges that you like and simply crease them. Okay, and whenever you crease them, you basically like making them harden. So if there were smoothed one like what we have here. Okay, for instance, you see this area here is a little bit smoothed. And if you recall what we've done here, basically we removed two supporting edge loops here in order to not deal with them whenever we assemble in this part here. So let's say I'm going to press move preview because it will be harder pr for me to grab this edge. But if I will grab this edge here, see this edge, which is the one that's a little bit curved here, smoothed or whatever you want to call it. So what you can do, I will kept, we'll keep it as uh, like that. You can go over mesh, uh, sorry, you can shift right click and choose uh, the crease tool. Now, where is it? Crease tool, okay? Now, when you, <coughs> when you release, you basically need to click, your, uh, click and hold your middle mouse button and simply drag it from left to right, depends on wherever you want this to be. So you can decide how much hard this edge dupe will be and where it will uh, where is the position for it, okay, that way. So, <clears throat> this basically eliminates the need of your, uh, of adding more edge loops. So after you've done this, you can simply grab this one, okay, and middle mouse click and making, making the, okay, shift right click and crease tool again, and then simply align it with the other one. So, <clears throat> this area will remain sharp even though that you see this thing here, I can simply grab this one and do the same, okay? Just aligned it that way. Now, <clears throat> I'm basically not working that way. It really depends on you. If you prefer to use crease tool in order to make some areas sharp without the need of uh, extra edge loops, um, that's all good, but you really need to know how to work with it because I'm not working with that much. And therefore, I do think that I do believe that right now I have a little, a little bit of problem here. Some things are overlapping, uh, almost for sure. So you need to be very wise on the picking of the edges that you want to crease or whatever. Right now, I just did it in three steps. I'm sure that I can achieve the same, uh, the same and even better look just by holding all the um, edges here that I need in one time and crease them. Though I'm not a big fan of this tool, uh, so I'm going I am gonna do it. What I do want to do is I wanna bring back uh those two edge loops. Now what will happen is that we it will uh, just give us a little bit hard time here. So I'm gonna show you the process of what I'm gonna do and I really hope that this will uh fit, give you some um good answer for what should be here. So I will start off by adding this uh, edge loop here at first. So let me change the selection tool and close this thing here. And I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna first isolate this because I do need to finish something here before this. So remember I left this area open and this area here not um, I didn't have those extra edge loops because I thought that I may want to play a little bit more with the this area here. Now that's true. I don't want this, but I want you to do this because you 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 are the only one who knows how it looks on your model. So if you want the diameter of this hole to be whatever, it, you just need need to make sure that it's really um, fits to the other part for those that we just isolated those. Okay. So if the diameter is just 
perfect for both of them, then that's all good. And you can keep this and just simply grab this one and let's isolate this. I will press one and we can add those extra edge loops. So this area will maintain sharped. And I'm going to add one more edge loop here just for making sure that this is look like this. Okay. Because this is really what I showed you on the picture, on the reference picture. This is how it should look like. Now, the problem here is that we need to finish this side as well. So I'm going to exit smooth preview mode, right click, choose this edge here, double click on it, click extrude, immediately switch to scale tool and open this up uniformly that way. Now don't attach them, we will do this with the Merge Vertex tool. tool. So Mesh Tools, Merge Vertex Tool, and let's pull those into place. You can still try and fix this. I mean, grab this edge here and pull it a little bit to the back, okay? Now I am going to do this. There is a lot of tweaking here that we can make, but I think that for the overall, that looks pretty good. Now. After we've done this, um, basically the problem is by adding those two edge loops back. And I will show you what I mean. Uh, and this is really depends on if you followed uh, step by step my, uh, my, uh, my workflow. Okay, now I also have a problem here. Um, I somehow stretch this area <laughs> and I feel a little bit bad about this, but I can fix this, but I will fix this later on. Okay, so what I will do um, is, uh, it's a little bit disturbing because it's on my way, but that's good that I left a little bit space here and there. So I'm going to add one edge loop at first, okay? The first edge loop should be here down beneath this edge and the other one should be above it. So shift right click, insert edge loop, I'm going to add this edge loop. Now, it should be here, right? Now. I'm going to have a look. Okay, let's undo that. No, I didn't undo that. I just undo that because I somehow... <laughs> um, it's it's still there, you see? I just somehow clicked something and it just removed the selection of this. Because every time you add an edge loop, it still remains selected. I don't want to remove this selection. I want to stay on this. Now, what I want to do here is... I want to have a look here, okay? And you can see that those are very, very close to each other. So what I will do, I will simply switch to Selection Tool, Shift right click, and choose Slide Edge Tool while it's selected. Now it will show me the drag with middle mouse button to slide. So click on your middle mouse button and slide it. Now all I care is that this one no longer will be attached. And I already moved it a little bit, so I'm going to click on the middle mouse and bring it a little bit down so that it won't be attached to each other. And I'm keeping some room here for the second uh, edge loop, okay? And you will see it immediately. Now, with that done, I'm gonna, um, sorry, I'm gonna unselect those here, okay? And I'm gonna bring them upwards, only them. Okay, so those, okay, sorry, I don't want those, basically, and those, okay, everything that's in the middle here, that has been selected, I, I don't want to touch it, I don't want to move it anymore, so I'm unselecting this, and that, and whatever was been here, and I'm just interested on those here, okay, and I want to bring them back into position, that way. Okay, now if you will zoom in, you will have much more sensitive control on this and you will be able to move even a little bit more closer that way. So now those two are lying at the same angle uh, somewhat. No, I need to open it up a little bit. Never mind. Let's leave it. As long as these here a little bit, we have room in between them. Now these are the problematic. So what I'm going to do, uh, control, unselect those here. So now I'm remaining only with those. And again, middle mouse button click, and I will move them downwards that way. Okay. 
Now we can zoom in and have a better look here, just to make sure that we are not overlapping or something. So after those have been, oh, they are like doing different maneuvers here. I'm going to keep them at the same height that way. I don't want to attach them and uh, more than this. And I'm going to unselect those and then do this. Try and do this. Okay, you see here, the little one is still selected. And over here, this one is still selected. I'm going to middle mouse drag them both. You see at the same time, now they are reacting like they are moving it together. But there is a little minor change. This one went a little bit down and this is still a little bit above it. But this is because I didn't <coughs> make sure that they are really that uh, aligned on the same height. So that's done and that's good. And we still have a little bit of problem here. I mean, I, can, I could drag, grab this edge here. Oh, it's still selected, so that's good. And let's have a look on the other side. Oh, here it's simply the vertex, so I, w I want to touch it. Anyway, let's grab vertex, vertex and just bring this that way. Okay, so we making sure that that looks fairly nice. And here, there is a problem, because you see what's going on here. I need those two to be brought down. Okay, all right, now for the fun part. <clears throat> I'm gonna ho hold on shift and right click and I need to add another edge loop here that way. Shift, right click, insert edge loop. I'm gonna add this edge loop that way. Now, what's happening here is the problem. You see the edge is going on through here and basically it's adding another edge across our uh, pivot here, this pivot area. You see this edge? It's the same edge. Now, if you press 3, this will add a little bit difference to your geometry. So, we only needed 8 of them, and now we have another one, and it's 9. And it's basically, if I will unselect wh whatever you see, it gives me g this ugly curved area here that... See this? This is what it does. Now, we want to eliminate this. We don't want to see this. So, oopsie. I'm going to switch the selection, press 1, and I'm going to undo two steps in order to still remain on the selection as I did earlier. And what I want to do here is I don't want to I don't want to have uh this selected, okay? So basically I don't want to have anything here selected, only this area here. Okay, that way. Now you see this one? We st also this one, we don't want him. We want this one to be kept, the long one, that goes through all this area. But from the moment that it's, uh, you know, uh, just in inserted over here, from here we don't want this to be here. So I will take also this one because this will, I will also uh, need to delete uh, later on. So shift right click delete edge okay this is the only way we deleted deleting edges so now we don't have this but the problem we have now is we just messed up the topology now for those who know what is topology uh, and for those who don't know I will explain um, so others who don't know will know what I'm talking about um, Whenever you're modeling, um, you need to make sure you have for each face um, four vertices. Okay, this is the um, this is called quads. Okay, and the thing is that whenever you maintaining quads on your model, this is the the best way to make sure that each curve or whatever going on with your model looks perfectly good and uh, it's not it's not giving you any you know weird kind of uh, uh, look on your model or I don't know what uh, simply it makes your model look just a little bit better and as you as it should look like uh, I'm not sure like it's the perfect way to describe this but 
it's somewhat there, okay? Anyway, with that said, uh, we need to make sure that we really uh, applying to this rule that each face need to be a quad, not try and not uh, something above, like five vertices and above. So we need to make sure it's four. So if I gonna grab this face, you can see there is a vertex here, vertex here should be, here should be a vertex and here should be a vertex. This is quad. But what we have here, this is more than quad. This is five vertices. I'm gonna right click choose vertices just so you can see it. And you can see that this face contains those two. It contains those two, but it also contains this one that been an extra one. So what we're gonna do here is very, very, very simple. We're gonna patch this area in some different way in order to make sure that we are maintaining those all quads. So in most cases, you will need to sit, relax, and think over about this. And just try to make whatever uh, you need to uh, apply to this rule, okay? So <clears throat> uh, I already, um, you know, for the sake of this part of the tutorial, I wanted to speed up things and not taking time to think of what I'm going to do. So what you need to do here <clears throat> in this case is to... Uh, let me pause for a second. My throat is killing me. Anyway, uh, you want to grab this one and you want to delete this one, okay? So shift right click, delete edge. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to grab this vertex here that belongs to this edge here and I want to bring it downwards that way. So I have enough space to tunnel this edge through the rest of my model over there. And now I'm going to grab this one and bring it and align it to this one. So now I can go over, choose multi-cut tool, simply connect this one to this one, right click, and there you go. You have this one. Now for the rest of this edge here, because now we have this face, okay, which has containing five vertices as you see, okay, so we need to tunnel this one to the rest of the model. So we're going to grab this edge, control right click, edge ring until it is to edge ring and split and have a look on what's going on here. This is going on just like any edge that could be here. Okay. And it goes right now to infinity because it's not connected to anything. But whenever we're going to mirror at the end of the process of this uh, object, we're going to mirror this, it will be connected to another edge that will look a just the same as this part. I mean, it's the, the other cut. So it will be connect connected somewhere. But <clears throat> we still need to work on the other side. But first, let me go back and zoom here and make sure that I'm really making this connection here. So multi-cut tool again, click here, click there, right click, and that's good. So you see, you Right now, it's only a matter of tweaking vertices, bringing them up and down as you desire. I, I don't know. It really depends on what you want to do here. Um, I already, I also thought maybe to bring those edges a little bit downwards and, I don't know, to have an, just a little bit different look here, but I'm going to keep them as they are. I just want to <clears throat> finish this area here. So we have here the same problem and we need to deal with it. So this face right now contain five vertices because of this edge here that come into play, okay? And we're gonna delete this edge, shift right click, delete edge. We're gonna choose vertex, bring this one downwards. Then pick this one, bring it, align it with this one. Mesh tool, multi cut tool, click on this one, on this with one, right click to close this. And then switch to move uh, selection tool, edge, <coughs> grab this edge, shift right click, delete, uh, sorry, Y, control right click, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split, sorry. And now this go through here, and you see, same thing, okay? I'm just making sure that they are at the same height, okay? That, that's what important here. I don't want to have a mess of complicated edges there. Um, and let's patch this, okay? Multi-cut, click here, 
and click here. And that's all, okay? So I'm gonna wrap this part of the tutorial. I just wanna make sure that you understand whatever we've done here. And basically now if I will press three, this is what beauty about this all, that everything is tunneled in a way that it doesn't interfere with our main uh, detail here that we don't wanna, you know, interrupt the way it looks or whatever. So everything tunneled here, this is stays untouched and <clears throat> that's all. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. By the way, this thing of the no making sure that everything is uh has the correct topology and whatever. You can read about this. I just can't describe this with my own vocab uh, vocabulary and it's just a little bit hard time for me though I'm sure that you pretty much understand what I was trying to say. I'm gonna save this part, save scene as, I'm gonna keep it as 15 for me. Don't follow those numbers, they are meaningless for you, it's only for me, so I will stay in order. You keep your own files with your order and that will be good. So yeah, thank you again for watching. I'm gonna fix this for a second because it's really bothering me why it was doing this for us for the first start for the first place I can maybe grab these hold on the V snap it to somewhere <laughs> let's see that way and those which I don't really see the other ones okay this hold on the V key yeah, hopefully this is where they should be. Okay, <clears throat> so yeah, that's it. I'm going to save this again, save scene. Thank you for watching. See you at the next part and have a nice day.